Today I'm going to show you everything I bought in Japan or more like buying every vial and rave for Japanese product that I saw on TikTok and no, this lip gloss isn't one of them. It's been two weeks since I got back from Japan and it was my first time going there. It was amazing. The food was great. The scenery was great. Going to the train during rush hour, not so great. But overall, such a great experience. Also, I'm so sorry if you're hearing a lot of background noise and people hammering. It's because there's construction beside our house and I can't really do anything about it. Let's just imagine there's nothing, so. Staying the Lulu is the Salulu. Technically, this isn't everything I bought from Japan because I'm doing a separate video for everything I thrifted in Japan. So if you want to check that out, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, I'm gonna show the stuff I got according to category like hair care, toners, masks, etc, etc. So it's easier to follow along and with that, let's start with hair care. The first thing I got and I told myself I cannot leave Japan without buying these are the End Honey Shampoo Treatment and Hair Oil. It's so weird because I bought these at Yodabashi Camera. So apparently Big Camera and Yodabashi Camera are camera stores and a store that has a lot of appliances but it's so weird because they have a floor dedicated to skincare and hair care and beauty products so i was like this is interesting i got the end honey melty moist repair and you know what makes it even better there's poo on the front like how can you not buy it it's so freaking cute so i got the melty moist repair because i heard it's good for people who have curly and wavy hair like moi so this one is supposed to repair your damaged and dry hair by giving it extra moisture like intense moisture so when i bought this it was like in a bundle so it came with these travel sized shampoo hair pack treatment and hair oil i didn't buy a separate hair pack because i feel like i can live without it also yesterday i used the hair oil and this is the result of the hair oil yes i haven't washed my hair since yesterday but as you can see it doesn't look dry and it looks alive so that's great. That's why I also got the End Honey Sakura Pixie Moist Silky Shampoo Treatment and Hair Oil. Damn, that's so long. <laughs> These ones are limited edition. It has a white cherry blossom scent to it. It works the same as the Melty Moist Repair, but for thinner hair types. When I was in Yodabashi camera, there was a tester for the Sakura Deep Moist Hair Oil, which is this one. So I gave like two pumps on my hand. It smelled so good, insanely good. And then I scrunched it in my dry hair. But usually I put hair oil when it's damp. So it's very hydrated. As you can see, I used hair oil, the End Honey hair oil yesterday. And it's amazing. If you see the silver and red tub, you already know it's the Shiseido Fino Premium Touch Hair Mask. This hair mask is supposed to make your hair super shiny and super silky, even though you just use it like one time. I'm so curious what this smells like. Let's give it a smell. Okay, that's that's super good. Like people really, 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 really rave about this. That's why I bought three. Now we go to hair oil. So besides the End Honey Melty Moist Repair and the Deep Moist Hair Oil, I also got the Lucido L Argan Oil Hair Treatment Oil Rich Moisture. That's a long name for hair oil. Okay, pro tip. Buying products in drugstores like Matsumoto Kiyoshi and Sundrug is a bit cheaper. I know because I was looking at prices like it was the stock market. I saw this from Aika Agustin's TikTok and if you want a more affordable hair oil, she suggested this one because the end honey one is like 1,500 yen and this one was around 400-ish yen. I'm not so sure, but it's more affordable. Still in the category of hair, I got this Matomeji Stronghold Hair Styling Stick. So if you're one of those clean girl aesthetic always puts their hair in a bun, I don't because I'm not a fan of it. But still, if you want to tame your frizz, your flyaway, this is one of the recommended hair products for it. I don't know if I'm going back to Japan anytime soon, but nonetheless, I came prepared and bought the refills of the End Honey Melty Moist Repair Shampoo and Conditioner because even though there's End Honey in Mitsukoshi in BGC, the sales lady told me last Sunday that every time that they have a delivery, it's always sold out. Like people do be hoarding the end honey, I don't know. Next up, we have toners. So this one is the Milano CC Anti-Spot Toner. This toner brightens the skin, fades dark spots, gets rid of acne scars and hyperpigmentation. I don't know if you can see it, but I have some acne scars on my face and I hope 
every Milano CC product that I bought is going to do its job because I bought it for that reason. I have one thing to say. You better work. Bitch. Of course, I had to get the Natori Hatamuji Skin Conditioner. This is a very affordable and hydrating toner for 400 yen, if I'm not mistaken, for 500 ml. And this is also available in Mitsukoshi in BGC for 370. So this is supposed to calm your skin and get rid of the redness and irritation besides making it super hydrated. I'm slightly gonna veer away from toners because I also got the Natari Skin Conditioning Milk and Gel. So they are light and fast absorbing hydrating moisturizers. This one is more of a creamy texture, that's why it's a milk. And this one is a gel and they're best for humid, hot countries like the Philippines where you are sweating a lot so it's important to have a fast absorbing one. These are highly rated products because as you can see there's a Cosme number one and then the year I think where they ranked number one. It's giving I'm a star. I'm a star! So I think if you're Cosme ranked it's really good. It's supposed to be really good. Going back to toners, I got the Anua Heart Leaf 77% Soothing Toner. So Heart Leaf, as an ingredient, has anti-inflammatory properties which calms and reduce redness of your skin. Of course, I had to get the Hadalabo lotions, which are actually toners. They just say it's a lotion, but it's actually a toner. If you're confused with all these variants, like how you're confused and being a situationship and don't know how to express your feelings, stuff like that, I got you, girl, because this Sheer June Premium Lotion, or I will not make your life any more difficult, the blue one is for brightening an even skin tone, it's for hyperpigmentation, it's for getting rid of the dark spots because it has tranexamic acid. And I know tranexamic acid brightens dark spots and acne scars because I have a tranexamic acid serum from Inky List and it does wonders. The Gokujun Aging Care or the red one is for mature dull skin. Usually if you have like a lot of wrinkles, it's super hydrating and smoothens skin texture. The Goko Jun Premium Lotion or the yellow one is the super hydrating one because it has 7 hyaluronic acid. It's good for normal to dry skin. It leaves your skin glassy, Korean glass skin realness. I don't know why I got a small one for the yellow one and, every, and everything's like the regular size. I also got refills in case I run out, but I know there is Hada Labo in SM Look, the department store with a lot of imported goods of SM Dub Store. I recently found the light version of the Hada Labo, which is the white one, and cleansers in Watson of SM Moa. Next up are cleansing oils and cleansing balm. Also from Anua is the Heart Leaf Pore Control Cleansing Oil. They say this is the best, even better than the Manyo, but it really depends on your skin type and of course, not everything is one size fits all. They say this cleansing oil dissolves makeup without any harsh rubbing, exfoliates dead skin cells. Actually, I've seen people use this cleansing oil and literally their sebaceous filaments come off so i was like wow kind of satisfying i also have the dhc cleansing oil and the softimo speedy cleansing oil these ones are recommended by the sales lady in one of the drugstores where i bought these from this one is an olive oil based cleansing oil and this one is a mineral based cleansing oil some people ran about the speedy cleansing oil that they break out so i'm kind of scared trying all these new skincare products to my skin because so as far as i know i haven't broken out because of new skincare usually it's hormonal and it's because I'm almost gonna have my period. I'm hoping for the best with all these skin cares. The Speedy Cleansing Oil also has a number one rating on it. I also got the Vanilla Co. Clean It Zero Cleansing Balm. This is the original one because it's already tried and tested by me. I already emptied this huge jar. I thought these were like the same sizes because this one is cheaper. It's definitely not the same size. That's why it was cheaper. <laughs> Next we have spot treatments. This is the Milano CC Premium Essence. It's an essence that fades your dark spots, acne scars, hyperpigmentation, and it also has four types of vitamin C. Then this one is the Milano CC Anti-Spot Moisture Cream. This does both jobs of reducing your dark spots, acne scars, hyperpigmentation, at the same time hydrating your skin. Also, when you're putting a lot of vitamin C products, 
It's important to use sunscreen so your hyperpigmentation doesn't get worse, doesn't worsen your hyperpigmentation. If you want to get rid of scars caused by cuts, scrapes, and burns, especially like the reddish brownish scars like the one I have on my shin, I got the Kobayashi at Non Scar Removal X. Actually, I should do a before and after of my scar using this. You should follow my Instagram so you get updated. For eye treatments, I got the Sana Eye Creams. The red one is for dark circles and the cream one is for wrinkles. They're highly rated by Cosme. They're number one. They're both stars. So the one for dark circles hydrates your eyes, gets rid of the puffiness, of course, reduces dark circles. While the wrinkle eye cream has fermented soy milk extract that helps improve the elasticity of the skin and of course reduces your fine lines, your wrinkles, and hydrates your eye area overall. For my acne prone girlies, the Lion Pear Acne Cream will do wonders for your acne. Well, for me, I only get acne when I'm hormonal, when it's before my period. And a little goes a long way because this is medicated. It has anti-inflammatory properties, antibacterial. So I literally just put a dot on my pimple and then the next day, it will reduce its size significantly. Next, we have our masks. This is the Lululun Hydro V Mask Vitamin. It hydrates and plumps your skin. Also, it soothes and calms irritated skin because of the herbs that's infused in this mask. And this was also suggested by the sales lady in the drugstore where we bought majority of the skincare. This is also a very popular mask. This is the Kiana Rice Mask. There's one that's a sheet mask, but I got the packed one. And I don't know how long this will last me, but I got another one. So it's 100% rice, if I'm not mistaken. The text over here. I think it's like the same concept when you put rice water on your hair. Makes your hair shiny. But this one, I think if you put it on your face, it says it will minimize your pores, moisturize and hydrate the skin, smoothens skin texture. I also got cleansers. These are the Senka Perfect Whip Cleanser. This one is the medicated one, so it's for acne prone skin. And this one is the collagen one. It improves your skin's elasticity, plumpness, everything that has to do with collagen. Not gonna lie, I only bought this one because it had Sylveon on the cover and that's how impulsive I get sometimes. Also because it's so cute, it's pink, it's Pokemon. I love every evolution of Eevee. And these cleansers have a gentle formula for all skin types. I also got this Sana Soy Milk Isoflavone Foaming Cleanser for dry skin. So this is a gentle cleanser, good for sensitive skin, and it's also very hydrating. I also got lash serums because I think I have weak eyelashes because every time I use a lash curler, bro, I see hairs on my lash curler and I'm so devastated every time I see that. So I got these lash serums. I think these are very highly rated. I know they're popular. I see them in every Japan haul that I see on TikTok or on YouTube. This one is the Kiss Me Heroin Watering Eye Serum and this one is the Majolica Majorica Eyelash Jelly Drops X Premium. So generally, eyelash serums promote strengthen, lengthens eyelashes. This one is an oil-free one and this one has a gentle formula and has a jelly-like consistency. Okay, no one's asking but right now I'm using a local eyelash serum from Happy Skin. I'm actually using this for four weeks and I'm making a video so subscribe if you want to watch out for that one. <laughs> this one is very, very, very important. It's sunscreen. This one is the Biore UV Aqua Rich Watery Essence. It has SPF 50. I know if there's a PA++++, that means it's good. I also got the Can Make Mermaid Skin Gel UV SPF 50 PA++++, which means it's really good, 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 good. They're actually pretty much the same with the Biore, but this one says it can be used as a makeup base. So when you're in Japan, expect a lot of walking, like 15,000 steps on average. Sometimes I think you can go as high as 20,000 steps, especially when you're in Disneyland. So your feet will get sore and aching and it will hurt. And foot masks are your best friend. This is the Teikoku Foot Refresh Sheet. Actually, I just didn't use this on my feet. I use this on my calves, my thighs, everywhere where it hurt. I put this at night and wear it overnight so that the next day, 
my feet are ready for another walking sesh and they're good to go. People hoard this DHC lip cream. I have no idea how good it is. It's an unscented, uncolored lip balm. Very hydrating, super moisturizing. It's kind of like a lip mask. The iconic Rota Z Super Cool Eye Drops. I've been seeing this when I was in high school. I'm so scared to try it. I have never tried it. So apparently, if you use these eye drops, you feel like your eyes are in Antarctica. That's how cooling it is. So it relieves dry eyes, tired, strained eyes. There's a cooling level at the back, it says eight. It's the max and I am so scared. Last but not the least, also I barely have any sunlight left, is this lip balm from Yoroshi Cosmetics. I got this from Asakusa. It's super cute. They have a custom art for every day of the year. Of course, I got one with my birthday on it and it's a thousand yen. So that's everything in my Japan beauty haul. If you have any Japanese products that you want me to try, comment it down below because next time if I'm in Japan, I might consider buying it. Also, if you have reached the end of this video, comment, I don't know, cheesecake. I've been talking for like, I don't know, four hours and thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye!